Happy Saturday, everybody. We are here in the parking garage of Sapphire Falls. Yeah. Because today we're getting honked at repeatedly. <laughs> Why are you honking so much? We are uh, doing Feeding Children Everywhere, which is a charity event started in 2010 after the Haiti earthquakes in order to provide free food for people in need. And today we are going to be packing up bags of soup mix to ship out to different places. So this ought to be fun. Before we headed inside, I wanted to show you guys the wreath that is around the entrance structure to Sapphire Falls. It's very nice. This is where we're going. It's everybody wearing their hair nets and the loud music. As we're waiting for our time to start at Sapphire Falls, I figured I would show you guys some of their Christmas offerings that they have here in their gift shop. These are fun. Where are my hair nets? I'm not. Jen's not. Not yet. I am. Here we go, we're getting ready. Oh, so many herbs and spices. Like I have to Looks like we got a head start. Gotta watch what I'm doing. Good job. Oh, I don't need no. <laughs> We have still. Oh, yeah. I know. How are you doing? Doing good. Yeah. Oh no, we're out of bags. We still have like lots to make. And they weigh them out. And they seal them up. We did it for an hour. They told us that we have raised 34 or filled 34,000 boxes. Just me and Jen personally filled 34,000 boxes. Look at it. So here's what we did. We put rice, beans, vegetables, some salt inside of a bag, and then they weighed it, and then they sealed it up, and we put it in these boxes, and said, and we filled up one more box. I'm gonna show you guys the tree at Sapphire Falls. It's really nice. Like, I like it. I'm glad that they put this huge area over here to have the tree in. What and plus, I think it was just seats. Oh, okay. And then the view out these windows. Like, that's unbeatable. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty from up here. Doesn't it? Wow. With the boat coming in and everything? This looks really nice. Yes. We did it. We yeah. filled a ton of boxes. We had a super fun time. I think our table filled the most boxes though. Either way, I think our table had the most fun. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. We had such a good time. Yeah. It was hard to show it because we needed our hands to yeah. do the work. I needed a bowl of my hands. Yeah, it was really <laughs> neat. I hope that you guys can do it next year because it was really fun. Yeah. And we'll and be there. We'll be there, I think, maybe at Aventura if it's open. I don't yeah, know if it'll we be were, open. We were just discussing it with our our, our uh, volunteer partners. We're like, where are you going to go next year? Let's go to Aventura. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of new things, we're going to go up to the parking garage and have a look out and see all the new stuff that's being built over by Volcano Bay. I'm so excited. So we'll start here. This right here is the new tower at Cabana Bay, which they have already started putting glass on, so it's going up real fast. There's another tower over there that they're building for Cabana Bay. There is a new parking garage that they just put in for Cabana Bay. This is what will be Aventura, which is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be their new value hotel. Uh, do you guys see this little tunnel right here? So that tunnel is what a tram is going to use to get you from the parking garage into Volcano Bay. How cool is that? And this right here will be a dedicated tram road or bus road from the parking garage. Pretty darn awesome. So much stuff happening. We can't see the volcano from here. It is behind the tower for Cabana Bay, but you can see some of the slides and you can get a better look at that tunnel that's gonna go underneath the road. Wow, there's the front entrance with the thatched roof. Look at this green slide right here. It looks awesome. And then in between Cabana Bay and the new tower is another slide. All of these look like they're gonna be so fun. I cannot wait for Volcano Bay to open. There it is, Krakatau, the volcano of Volcano Bay. I don't even know if you guys can see, but there is a white slide kind of right there. That's one of their drop slides, right through the center of the volcano. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Here's a quick look at one of the new buses for Universal. Came in a new Dutch trading company in Sapphire Falls, and we found a s'mornament, which is just like an ornament that has the ingredients for a s'more inside of it. Only one s'more? One s'more, and it's $5. Sapphire Falls still looks awesome on the inside. For the most part, there are a few blank hallways, but I really like some of this theming. Prime example of like, oh, well, they got this giant like Wait, piece of art here. Egg? No, it's just an open kitchen. Well, it might be a, I don't know. That looks an awful lot, oh, maybe that's the salad bar. Oh. But it looks an awful lot like a buffet over there and everything. Maybe for breakfast. Is it still breakfast? I don't know. Or lunch. I know that when we first came here, I never, never, ever said this name right. How do you say it, Jen? Amatista. Amatista. We figured it out. It is a breakfast buffet. 
but then they do lunch and dinner regular full service. Here's the view from the other direction that we saw from the lobby. From the lobby, we were up there looking down on this. Look at how pretty it is. The Royal Pacific's fleet of boats at their plane. Look at that. There's the dry dock for all the, all the boats. That's really neat. I didn't know that they did that. You would think that they would hide that. Oh, look at the outside arches for Universal Studios. They're all decorated with Christmas stuff. And they have the sign that tells us that the Macy's Holiday Parade starts December 3rd and runs through January 1st. Woo! Also, it looks like the little pavilion here for the metal detectors coming from Portofino Bay and Hard Rock is all done. And they just need to put the metal detectors in it and then they can open it. Nothing says Universal like listening to the vibrato of Silent Night. What? I don't know why that was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> like usually they're like boom boom pow. Everybody clear the road. They're on a mission from God. <laughs> Here comes Velma. Oh no, he's a raptor. Thank you. I'm so, you have inspired my upper lip, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's scratching his butt. Look at all the Christmas decorations. All the lights have little Santa hats on them. And there's wreaths everywhere. And the music is really blaring. And, and Betty Boop is out. And Lucy is out. And Marilyn is out. Everybody's out. And there's a chance that I've seen this Lucy before. Chance that I've seen this Lucy before. What? So this is the Despicable Me float from the Superstar Parade. And we did find out Secret Life of Pets is going to have a float that will be replacing the Hop float. I think Secret Life of Pets is going to come out sometime in December, like early December, maybe minion. December 3rd. Where? Oh, you missed it. I saw him dancing with you. No, he was floating. Oh no, he's scared of that bird. <laughs> think he likes your hair? Somebody's hair? I can't believe they like put a guy in a costume driving this thing. It's pretty impressive. Last time we were here, the stage was still up from Halloween Horror Nights from Academy of Villains. It is now gone. All of the decorations down in New York for Christmas. Oh, it looks awesome through here. Look at this. It's so awesome. It feels good. It feels like old time New York. Lots of decorations, looking cool. Even the Blues Brothers stage is all decorated up. Happy Halloween. Happy, what? Look at this. It looks awesome. I'm sorry that I just keep saying it looks awesome, but it does. It's so fun. Like I really like all of the decorations here. I cannot wait for all of the lights to come on at night. I can't wait for the Macy's holiday parade. They have a video going inside the Macy's windows. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's of the parade here in the park. Like, oh, and look, all of these things that are in the window are like small versions of the floats, like there's the big roly-poly Santa, Garfield, Shrek, Spring Boob, SpongeBob, and Grover. I didn't think that they had the rights to the Sesame Street stuff. Oh, I don't know. It's in the actual Macy's Parade. Oh, is that why? Okay, okay. Yeah. I was wondering because of like Garfield and like the. Yeah, well, this guy's that makes here. Sense. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait to see this thing all lit up. Every night during the Macy's Parade, they light the tree. That's what Santa lights it, right? Yeah, Santa comes down through here and he stops right here and they light the tree and confetti and people dancing and a big show right here and it's awesome when when they were getting ready to take this picture they're like all right jimmy here's what i want you to do i want you to pretend like we just walked in on you when you're in the bathroom <laughs> in this one they're like hey jimmy the floor is lava pretend like the floor is lava and this is what will be the front of 30 rockefeller center the entrance to jimmy fallon race through new york and you can see the rest of it is really starting to look a lot like new york like 30 rockefeller center each one of these is going to be a faux window and they've got lights on the inside so that it looks like there's something going on in there neat everywhere that you see a glass window will be the NBC store. So you can go in and hang out and look at all the NBC merchandise. There's another angle of it. It looks really neat. Oh, that doesn't look so good. I wonder what they're gonna do with that. Maybe they'll repaint it. So as we turn away from Jimmy Fallon and take a look past the Christmas tree here on the corner before we get to Transformers is the Christmas store here in Universal Studios. Let's go have a look inside. This is me at Christmas. I like all the fun hats that they have. All the minion stuff that we saw before. Whoa. It is the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, and they're like painting personalized ornaments. Look at the prices. That's me. Oh. Sorry. This is my baby right now, Jen. Look how perfect this came out. Oh, that's so nice. I love all the Grinch things. 
This cat in the hat is adorable. Check out this pillow. Oh, I want all Simpsons all the time on my Christmas tree. I just want a Christmas tree full of duff beer ornaments. Does anybody collect Coca-Cola stuff? Because there is a lot of it here. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ornaments. I can't wait to go to SeaWorld this year because they have all of the walk-around characters from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, yeah. oh, look, they even have Frosty, um, Santa. Oh. Like, isn't that Frosty? I don't remember. I have to watch that movie again. I think he might be... Old man, well, maybe he is Frosty. I think Frosty I has a mustache, a snow mustache. Snow mask. I didn't know that. But they have, they have Bumble, they have Yukon Cornelius, they have Rudolph all walking around at SeaWorld. Check out the cool Universal Studios 2016 ornaments. Who are these people? How do I get that job? This is me casually thinking about Christmas. I wanted to show you guys an update on Fast and Furious. It's coming right along. We're gonna go get a couple of other views around the park of it, but this is just your first. I've never seen this window open where you could just walk up and get like a gelato or a slice of pizza from Louis. Holy macaroni. Fast and Furious is going up fast and ferociously. It looks interesting. I'm excited to see what it will turn out to be. We don't know what kind of ride it's gonna be yet. I'm always excited for something new. Oh look, they put the flag up. That means that they have gone to the highest point of this building. Then next to King's Cross, there's Fast and Furious, looking all giant off in the backstage area. Try to zoom in a little bit on it. I don't know what that means. We're looking out into the lagoon, we're noticing these little like pieces of theming here and here. We can't figure out what it is. Maybe it's a speaker, maybe it's something else, maybe it's a light or something, but there's definitely an air conditioner inside of there. Like that is an air conditioner. What used to be Robo Oasis, and now it's just like a Coke freestanding area, is now open, so we're gonna go inside and check it out. Oh, it's like a party in here, like a robot party. Oh yeah, robot disco. Look, he's gonna do the robot. Yeah, he is. It smells really new in here. Get it, little robot dude. Robot. Oh, hey, get out of the way. I was watching that guy dance. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, back to work. So I guess you can type in, oh, there's like an echo spot right here. Because you could type your name in here and then they make a Coke bottle for you here on this screen. Oh, let's type in my name. Is it too long? No, just change. B O R T. Bort. Thanks, Bort. Show me that thing. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, my son's name is also Bort. Bort, come over here. And there's all kinds of Coke freestyles here, and they have Gamma Green and Celebrity Fizz that you could do, too. <laughs> this robot knows Santa! All of the Christmas decorations are up at the Men in Black gear store. Some nice purple and green Christmas trees. There they are, they look pretty cool. Time to take the train from London to Hogsmeade. Never noticed these lights here, they're kinda cool. I know it's a pretty random thing to notice, but I like the lights. Merry Merry, Seuss Landing for Grinchmas! I can't wait to see all the Grinch decorations. That was my Christmas song. Look at this. What's this? What's this? That is the wrong theme park. Nobody's waving at me. What the heck? Like all these decorations are really, really fun in Seuss Landing. I did a bang up job of decorating this stroller parking kiosk. And I love this one candy cane. Look, it's the Grinch. And... I don't remember his name right now. Going to get our picture taken with Sam. Sam I am from Green Eggs and Ham. Hello. And the Grinch. Boo the Grinch. I like the Grinch. Oh. Oh. Sam really likes you. Whoa. Oh my. Whoa. The Grinch wins. The cat in the hat is fighting with thing one over there. Look, even the Lorax is all decorated for Christmas. Check out his sweet little bow that he's got going on. I like that this is a story about deforestation. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish is all decorated too. Welcome Christmas, Fahu Fores, Tahu Dores. It's Christmas day, I guess, I don't know. I love all of the decorations but I will never know the Christmas song. This will be the best hula day ever. I feel like uh, this sign does not go here. Is that the Wu-Tang Clan symbol? Here are the big Christmas trees out in front of Seuss Landing. 
for the holiday season. Tootsum has some decorations up too. We got a crispy flatbread from Tootsum and it's a barbecue chicken. It looks really good. Looking in on them making the uh, milkshakes here at Tootsum. Sapphire Falls is all back to normal now. Like, oh. oh look, they have like a table here with outlets and stuff you can use. That's where if you want to have like a... That's where we were, like on the carpet. Back home after an excellent day at Universal Orlando. Holy cow, the feeding children everywhere. It was a really fun event. Glad we did it. It was a lot of fun and we'll be doing it again next year. And boy oh boy, all of the decorations at Universal are amazing. I love it. I love this time of year when holiday decorations start going up. It looks so good all around all the parks. I can't wait to go to all the other parks and check them out. So, we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.